Hey guys, Josh here. I am the author behind PlanetChinchilla.com and the founder behind this YouTube channel. And today I want to share with you five tips about your chinchilla's behavior. Let's get started. Real quick too guys, before I forget, I want to make sure that if you are new to this channel to go ahead and click and subscribe below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button that you see down there below. Um, another thing too to keep in mind is that these videos are on all of these blog posts. If you see the blue links throughout the videos, go ahead and use those to your advantage guys. They are there to help you, um, especially if you are new to owning a chinchilla. Um, a lot of questions pop up in those beginning phases and those resources that you see throughout the blog post will take you to other frequently asked questions and most likely answer several of them for you in one sitting. So use those to your advantage. Click like, subscribe, and let's go ahead and dive into those five tips now. All right, guys, tip number one about owning a chinchilla that you need to keep in mind is that they are mega jumpers and climbers. This means a few things for you. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you have a big cage. You need to let them jump. You need to be promoting it and you need to let them climb. Um, this involves tons of ledges throughout the cage. They're just little wooden ledges that attach, making sure that the cage is multiple levels and just being prepared that when they're out for playtime, they are going to jump and climb on everything. Um. All right, guys, tip number two is chinchillas do chew. They love to chew. Um, like many rodents, they have teeth that need filed consistently. Uh, it's just part of them remaining healthy. If their teeth overgrow, it can cause infections. It can make them be in extreme pain. So you need to be allowing them to use chinchilla safe chew sticks. They need to have safe wood within the cage to chew on. This can be the ledges or the nesting boxes. But in general, they are going to chew and they're going to do it a lot. And you need to also promote this. Without them being able to do so, you're gonna run into problems fairly quickly. Um, outside of that, just make sure that when they're out for playtime, you don't have wires exposed. They will, anything they can get access to, they're gonna put in their mouth. So make sure you use some kind of wire protector. Make sure that anything that you don't want chewed, like baseboards, et cetera, throughout the house is not within where they are playing or going to be or have access to in general. Tip number three about a chinchilla's behavior is they are affectionate animals. They do recognize you after enough time of attempting to bond with them, but this does not mean that they always enjoy handling especially in the beginning. You need to give them time to adapt. Um, not all chinchillas respond at the same pace with each other. Some of them take a few weeks, some of them take months. Um, sometimes it takes longer than that. It really depends on your effort with them. But overall, compared to any other family pet that you would own, they are just as affectionate and loving towards their owners or the family members. Tip number four is chinchillas love to sleep at the most non-ideal times for you in a lot of situations. Chinchillas are awake at dusk and dawn is their most active times. Outside of that, these guys are gonna sleep a good 18 to 20 hours a day. Um, you need to allow that inside of their cage. Typically, they're going to sleep inside of a nest box, which you need to make sure that you are allowing them to have inside of there. It not only makes them feel safe, but typically that's gonna be where they sleep if they're not in something like a hammock or another special accessory that you have purchased for them. And finally, tip number five is chinchillas do love to have a cage mate. Um, part of their behavior is being social. They like to be around other chinchillas. And if you are not the kind of owner that can get them out every single day, it is a good idea to make sure that you do get a second chinchilla. I personally, I'm able to get my chinchilla out at least once a day, whether that's in that playpen that I've referenced in other videos or just out in the basement where it's safe regardless for her. I have the ability to do that. Not everybody does. So if you're in that situation, you need to make sure 
that you purchase a second chinchilla. Use the tips throughout this blog to understand how to bond them effectively. But once you have completed that process, two chinchillas will do great together. In most situations, obviously keep an eye on it, but in general, chinchillas are extremely social and they do want a cage mate. All right, guys, that wraps up the five tips I wanted to go over today for a chinchilla's behavior for you to understand. Again, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up below. Click the links below for any further information. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified the next time a video is released. And we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.